So we're at the Centennial Concert Hall in Winnipeg. It's Wednesday, May the 21st, and we're here speaking to Karen Robb, artist, about her new show that's opening tonight. Hello. Nice to see you. Good to see you too. How would you describe your medium and your art to those of you like me who are just meeting you for the first time? Well, this show is called Frankly Speaking, so it's um, actually based on a series that I've been working on in the last year, and it profiles Frank Lloyd Wright's buildings on the heads of iconic women. So here you see there's seven paintings um, total in the series. This is Frank Lloyd Wright. He's a famous architect who was um, sort of instrumental in bringing the outside in in his designs. And uh, he um, sort of worked in the mid-century modern um, theme. And uh, I've always been fascinated by Hollywood women. So I picked some of my favorites to wear the hats. But it's not an accident, the hats that they're wearing, the buildings that they're wearing, um, they all sort of have to be paired together for a reason. So um, for instance, I have uh, Marlena Dietrich over here. She's the smoker and she is wearing, she's a German, and she's wearing the Beth Shalom um, temple on her head, which is obviously a Jewish synagogue. And I chose that pairing because she was instrumental in the war for um, denouncing the Nazis and um, emigrated to the States. So I wanted to celebrate that. And the painting is called Human Rights, as in human rights, Frank Lloyd Wright. Um, so that's what that's all about. And every one of them has a story attached to it. So Great. that's what the series is about. But all of my paintings have stories attached to them, and it just helps connect um, the viewer who may not be artistically minded with um, my vision. How long have you been working on this series? This series has been a year in the works. Um, I started Audrey, who's the first one. Audrey Hepburn is wearing the Guggenheim Museum. And um, I started her last year at about this time and I finished a couple of months ago. So it was really a long haul. Um, interesting little fact, I was content contacted by um, Right in the Park, which is the nonprofit uh, foundation um, that's in charge of restoring the last Frank Lloyd Wright hotel in the world. And they've asked me to add on to the series and paint their hotel. So that's actually something I'm going to be doing as soon as the show is over. So yeah, so that was exciting to have them back that. Um, you can find my work. I'm in-house at the Birchwood Art Gallery, and um, I'm also, uh, I have my work um, sporadically at the Creatory uh, in town, so if you want to come and find my my pieces, you can find Any, any social media? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm art by Karen Robb on, <laughs> this is so embarrassing, I'm art by Karen Robb on Instagram, go Instagram. And um, Facebook has been great, actually. They were uh, the, um, the vehicle that got me in touch with a New York gallery that features my work. So they've taken me all over the world. I've been in Shanghai. Well, my art has very <laughs> an interesting life. I don't. Um, I, I was in New York last summer showing my pieces in the Hamptons. Mm -hmm. And I have a piece in, um, at Hell's Kitchen in Manhattan this week, actually. So I'm hoping that that's successful. And yeah, so it's been a really interesting year. I've had 10 shows in the last year and now I'm exhausted. <laughs> yeah, that's great. So when did you get started in art? Where, did you start as a child or? Um, yeah, I started really early. I think if it's in you, it's in you. And um, I was really fortunate to have uh, an aunt who was an artist and took the time to sit with me mm -hmm. at the table at my grandmother's house and show me how to draw still lifes and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then um, I was in the Faculty of Fine Arts at the University of Manitoba. Mm -hmm. And so I've had some background in that. So you're from Winnipeg? I am from Winnipeg. Yeah. So your family's around here? Yes, my, I do. My mom is here right now. And yeah, so it's been really great. Winnipeg's a great place for the arts. I mean, we are just steeped in it. So um, you can go out on any given weekend and just soak yourself in it. It's a fantastic place to be for art. Mm -hmm. 
So, so, so something else I've been working on um, is uh, a tree series. Mm -hmm. I like to um, personify trees, <laughs> if you will, and give them sort of human characteristics and um, have the stories tie into that. And so uh, that's another, ha the other half of this show actually is those trees and the stories that they tell um, through the emotion and the movement that you feel when you look at the trees. And uh, it, the, the idea sort of um, came from the devastating flood in Manitoba that hit Lake Manitoba and the surrounding areas. And uh, when the trees were devastated and lost all their leaves and their bark and they stood stark against the prairie sky, that's sort of where the inspiration came. So that's, that's really important that that series has been really important to me as well. And thanks very much, Karen, for taking the time out to speak to us oh, tonight. Oh, no problem. Thanks so Congratulations. much. Congratulations. Good luck on your show. Well, thanks so much for coming down. It means a lot.